Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs, the Born Bob Bell for Theme Parks and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. Now, we've got a massive update from Drayton Manor to come today because it looks like Splash Canyon is going to be reopening for the 2021 season. Now, we don't have confirmation of that, however, thanks to pictures from Theme Park Vid, posted on Facebook by Diary of a Roller Coaster Girl, massive shout out to both of you, uh, we've got some paid tops and some changes. Now, we've got the full Facebook post description from from Diary of a Roller Coaster Girl and uh, the pictures from Theme Park Viz to share with you. Uh, so credit goes to both of them for the information and the pictures used in this video. So, before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And also, guys, check the description down below where not only can you find links to the Discord server where you, yes, you, the Coast Shell fan base, can be a part of the Chow Nation and interact with other Coast Shell fans. You can also check out Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat links, and the Google Forms link where you can put in your video ideas and content suggestions. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the potential reopening of Splash Canyon at Drayton Manor Resort. So Diary of a Roller Coaster Girl put on Facebook with pictures from Theme Park Vids. Massive shout out to both of you, of course. Uh, more potential good news in the UK. Splash Canyon at Drayton Manor looks set to reopen in 2021. Nothing confirmed yet, but as you can see from these pictures, there's lots of work going on around the ride, including a repaint of all rides, tunnels, theming, and station. Loopings might not invest in a lot of brand new headline rides, but they do look to make the most of what parks have. They've been more than ever done with this, with what they've been doing at Pleasurewood Hills with Express and West Midland Safari Park with Monkey Mayhem. I do wonder if this attitude will lead to the rework of the likes of Excalibur and Pirates Adventure. Either way, it's great to see the Rapids are likely to reopen. And as you can see by the paint-ups, it seems like a really nice colourful repaint-up. So, uh, very good stuff there from Drayton Manor on the repainting and the uh, change-ups going on around Splash Canyon. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of All Ages. That is looking at the uh, paint tops going on at Splash Canyon at Drayton Manor. Not the biggest update in the world today, but a very exciting one indeed. Um, very exciting stuff to see from that. Really excited to see Splash Canyon possibly reopen this year. Uh, there was rumourings of maybe this ride will open at some point in the next year or two. Um, 2021 or 2022 maybe. Um, and, I'm, and it's glad to see that maybe we're looking at a reopening. Or maybe this paint up could be part of the re-theme for Splash Canyon. Because you've got to remember, Splash Canyon was the, 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 the location of the unfortunate incident a few years ago at Drayton Manor. And, you know, they'll not want to see any kind of traces of the old rapids that caused that incident. So, obviously, they're going to be bringing in the, the new improved boats to make safety and health more important. Uh, however, what I do expect to see is probably a new name. I expect to see the paint-ups, obviously, but also like a brand new name and a sort of redeveloping and a refurbishing of the ride. So, they're beginning the refurbishment process already with the, the paint-ups, the, the TLC... Uh, just doing all the things around the ride, but I do expect to see a brand new name and a brand new Maybe not a brand new theme, but maybe like just like a brand new name at best uh, Because I think all trace of Splash Canyon the original will probably go at this point So uh, I'm hoping we're gonna see a brand new name for this ride and it should be interesting I also spoke in that post about the reworkings of Pirates Adventure and Excalibur Excalibur, I really want to see that back open. I really do. Of course, if you don't know what that is, it's a, uh, a slow-moving boat ride telling you the tales of Castleville with an onboard audio narration telling the story of Castleville. And, um, you know, it was manufactured by Bear Rides with the theming created by Pharma Studios. Uh, it closed back at the end of 2011. Uh, it's been, you know, that site's been vacant. Now. Obviously, we had the Santa's Grotto stuff the night before Christmas for 2012 and onwards. And, um, you know, we've had that. But in terms of a ride hardware, we haven't, we haven't had something in that site for, a, you know, it's going to be 10 years now since, nearly 10 years since um, Excalibur left. And, um, you know, it's it's interesting, isn't it? It's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in that site. But I do want to see Excalibur back at some point. Uh, with a maybe Matt comes in with the with the Merlin Quest at Toberland type slow moving boat ride system, and you know get some theming creators in like Universal Rocks or something, and you know create the theming for it. 
Uh, with Pirates Adventure, I really don't see that being reworked. I think it's going to get completely taken out and replaced with a brand new ride. So I think that's just a case of what's going to replace Pirate Adventure. But uh, with Excalibur, I do want to see uh, like the refurbished, reworking, uh, reborn Excalibur, shall we say. Uh, but it should be very interesting, but it's good science from Splash Canyon. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a great, fantastic day.